but our guys, you know, um, you know, uh, kind of did what they had to do. It was a, a pretty business-like win. I didn't think we were, um, you know, I, th I thought we were pretty good, honestly, offensively. I told them I think the numbers uh, probably uh, don't don't do justice to you know the kind of shots we generated. We generated pretty good looks. We just struggled to shoot the ball from three. Uh, missed a couple plays around the rim, um, but I thought we competed defensively. Um, we've really been trying to make strides in that area. Um, we've been better uh, not fouling, been better uh, challenging shots. Um, I thought today, you know, defense kind of ruled the day for us, uh, got us out in transition, particularly early. I thought we shared the ball. Obviously, need to take care of it better. Um, 15 turnovers, too many, but that's partial credit to, I think, A&M. They're, they're a really scrappy group. They, uh, they compete hard, play hard. Like I told them, they you know the last three games they've been right down the wire with three pretty good mid-major teams. So um, they're, they're a good basketball team, athletic, quick, um, and, and they gave us some trouble there in terms of taking care of it. So, but ultimately, a uh, good team win. Thought we got performances up and down uh, the roster. Bench was good. Kalix was really good in the first half for us. Uh, obviously, Hobbs in the second half was terrific. Uh, De'Aaron Tucker gave us some good minutes. Um, had a lot of guys on the bench and, 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 and do a good job for us. So, um, good team win and uh, looking forward to, to Monday night. Questions, please. Uh, Josh, uh, you mentioned the paint touches you got. Um, you know, and how it kind of built the moment. I guess probably the biggest thing is that it puts you in control from the start and you never really were in a position to relinquish it. Just talk about how. The importance of that, you know, just getting the guys into the right mentality of, uh, you know, being able to control the game. Yeah, we, we talked about, <clears throat> you know, coming into today is, is, you know, playing to our identity more consistently, right? And like, what's the best version of ourselves and how do we get there more consistently? And, you know, we did it, we've done it for games and we've done it for stretches of games and we got away from it against North Dakota State. We honestly got away from it a little bit in the second half today, at least offensively. Um, but. You know, when we're at our best offensively, we're playing with great pace, which is inclusive full court and half court in terms of how we're moving. We're playing a lot of, of action, and, and the ball is moving, not sticking, and guys are cutting, and we're setting ball screens or, or, or splits, and, and we're playing behind stuff. We're getting great cuts. Um, and, and so when we play with, with, with great pace and we play with a lot of action activity, play with force and, and, and playing downhill, playing through those paint touches, paint attacks, and playing behind those, those are the highest value, you know, uh, uh, shots in the game. You know, when you can move a, a defense and play through a paint attack and get the ball to the second side of the floor. And then we talked about being disciplined, shot selection, being disciplined with, when we, you know, in terms of taking care of it. And that's our best version offensively. That's the formula for us to really perform at a high level. And um, we knew, you know, we saw more zone today than we've seen all year. You know, they were 90% today in the zone. Um, and attacking the zone, the, the, the biggest thing is not to become stagnant, not to trace a three-point line. We wanted to get the ball inside the zone, whether that was on a catch or on a drive, as early as we could in the clock. And obviously, um, try to play uh, Jabo in there as much as we could in the middle. You know, you put a playmaker in the middle of the zone, try to attack it in there, and then play behind that and try to cut the corners and cut beneath it. And we got some good good movement off that. So uh, good execution on the guys' part. And um, yeah, I agree. We, we played through the pain and I think, you know, 44 points in there out of our 67 on a night where we didn't shoot it well at all. Um, you know, that was the whole key for us was, was being able to certainly, uh, you know, we won the game on, on two pointers, which is not an easy way to go. Yeah, I was going to ask about the three point shooting. I mean, it's it's been there, you know, you have shooters on this team and it's come and gone. For nearly all of them, Cooper, of course, didn't have a great day today. Zach had, a, had a, his best day from long range. Where, where do you kind of assess where the where the three point shooting is right now? Uh, where, where, how do you feel about it? I think we're we're um, you know it, it's in, we, we're we're streakier than we are. You know, like I've I've had some teams that were you know really elite three point shooting teams and shot 40 plus percent as a team, and every time you generated a wide open one, you felt like it was going to go down. Um, you know, that's not who we are. Um, I think there'll be nights where they go in. Uh, we, we have a bunch of guys that I think are ignitable. Uh, Cooper, you know, was 0 for 6 today, but he can get going. Uh, Hobbs, a guy that can get going. Micah Thomas can get going. I've seen Cam Henry make seven threes in a game. Um, you know, Joppa made a couple against North Dakota State. Um, but, there, you know, that that's, a, you know, when you don't have, you're not a lead shooting team, the key for us is just to keep generating the quality. And there was a couple times today, honestly, I was more frustrated 
that I thought we had some open looks we didn't take and we turned down and then play more on the shot clock and you know and, and that's actually bad basketball because it's hard enough to generate a good look and then when you do generate a wide open look you got to take it because the chance of generating a second wide open look or a third you know the longer possession goes by any metric the lower your scoring percentage is in the possession rate so there was one that you know it just stands out but there was four or five of them at least in the game where you know we had to generate a wide open three you know Coop had a wide open three he shot faked it drove it tried to take kind of a hard layup, got it blocked, and it turned a transition and two points at the end. And, you know, that's that's why you have to, you know, when we do generate those looks, we have to shoot them, shoot them with confidence. They go in, they don't go in. Um, this team's always going to, you know, have to, to defend, and, and, and we don't have the luxury of being an elite shooting team where, man, you know, you know we can kind of just play through that. We'll have nights where they go in. We'll have nights where we make, we have had nights where we make 12, 13, 14, 15 threes already. Um, we'll have plenty of nights like tonight where it's, you know, 5 for 25, you know, we've had a lot of 6 for 28s. Um, you know, it, the key is the quality and just continuing to work to generate quality shots. And then when we do get a good look, let it fly, let it fly with confidence, make it or miss it, let's get back and, and sit down and be really good defensively. This game gives an opportunity to guys like Zach Hobbs to, you know, gain some confidence, show what they can do. How important do you think this performance was for Zach? Cause Apart from the Old Dominion uh, game where he played well, you know, he's been kind of fighting for that opportunity and today took advantage of it. Yeah, he's, his, um, you know, he'd been practicing really well Thursday, Friday. He was terrific in practice. We had, um, you know, Cam Crawford had, had been out. He was kind of questionable to play today with a, he had a rash and uh, that they were working on with antibiotics. And so we didn't know. He, he wasn't able to go for a couple of days. And, and, and Zach played really well in practice. So, um, you know, I'm not surprised. He's been working hard. The biggest thing uh, for Zach has been to kind of, you know, he's, he's got to, and he knows, I mean, um, he's a guy who's not going to, he's got to impact the game by his shooting, um, and then he's got to defend, and he's really worked hard to be a, a better defender. His defense has improved more in the last couple of months than probably any other, uh, you know, from a player. Now, he was had a lot more improvement to do than most every other player, but um, but, but his growth on that end of the floor in terms of sliding his speed, understanding, you know, the slower you are, the more sound you're to be technically. And the smarter you got to be, the more you got to defend with your IQ and your intelligence. And, and Zach is a, is a high IQ guy, and he's starting to get it and understand what you're trying to do and how to cut off angles. And you don't have to be the fastest guy in the world. You got to play hard. You got to play with, 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 you know, with intelligence. And he's starting to do those things. He understands team defensive concepts. And he's been shooting better, but he's also been in the gym. He's been working. And, um, you know, he's been spending the time, you know, before practice, after practice. Um, and, and it's good to see that pay off because, again, he's a guy that, you know, um, uh, the less versatile you are, the better you got to be at the one or two things that you do. And, um, you know, and, and so his improvement defensively and then the way he's shooting the ball and that is going to give him opportunity. And so I think today was a big confidence boost for him. But his practices, the way he's worked here the last week, week and a half, um, certainly wasn't surprised to see him come in and play well and, and uh, you know, um, was happy. Was happy for him, and, and, and again, the bench. Everybody, you know, he's a kid that the team loves. Coach, not only did you, uh, you know, outscore them in the paint, but also a uh, pretty nice differential as far as rebounds. How would you describe the physicality of this team right now in the season? Yeah, I, I, we, we we rebound the ball well today. It was something we talked about with them. I thought the the two things that that they do well on the offensive end is uh, they they really score in the post. Uh, they're really hard to guard in the post. Uh, and, and Williams didn't get to play a much big 34. Um, and and Jalen Johnson's their, their best player, their leading scorer. Um, and, and, and could we guard them inside? And then could we defensive rebound? And um, to hold them to four offensive rebounds for us to get in, I think, I think that's been, you know, because we're not very big. Surprisingly, we've actually been a pretty good defensive rebounding team this year. I think we're, um, you know, certainly in the top, you know, 75 in the country in defensive rebounding percentage. And for a team that, you know, generally there's times, like a lot of times today, you know, our tallest player was 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, we played a lot with Kalix and Henry and Bledson uh, because of the skill against the zone. But um, I, thought, I thought we were really, really physical. I thought we, we uh, did a good job what, what they do, too. I think part of the rebounding is, you know, they're quick and they get by you and they force rotations and they get the ball up on the glass and then you're in rotations and now they get advantage, by, you know, advantage rebounds. And uh, we did a really good job of, of, of walling up. They didn't get very many. There's a couple um, that I can remember off the top of my head, but very few uh, layups at the rim where we weren't walling up and we didn't have to bring help very often. That allowed us to kind of stay with ours and 
uh, was proud of our guys. We always talk about playing with appropriate physicality. I think you know, physicality itself is probably a little overrated because just going out and hammering people and uh, you know, like the early 90s NBA, you're just going to get in foul trouble and it doesn't doesn't do you any good. Um, but playing with it, but there's no good defensive team that's not really physical. So finding that appropriate physicality, I thought we boxed out well, thought we got on the glass well, thought we had guys going in and, and we were a five-man rebounding team. So it was, it, it was good to see and that was a huge key for us, one of the two big ones for us on the, on the defense. Early in the first half, uh, it looked like uh, it was a pretty big physical play. Uh, Henry went down with a left-hand injury. I've seen the staff kind of working on it in the second half. Is there any update or is he good right now? Uh, he seems to be good. I, I haven't um, I haven't seen him since you know right at the post game, but but he was he was fine to go to go you know to play in that second half, and uh, he wasn't complaining of it. But um, you know I'm sure that Connor and those guys will be evaluating it, and and then we'll we'll check it. He won't practice tomorrow. We'll just do film and a walk through. So um, you know we'll wind up uh, you know getting a better evaluation I guess tomorrow and see where he's at. You have spoken to me in terms of um, you know, and you mentioned getting the best version of yourself and you've kind of, when you've talked to me, you've kind of put that in terms of minutes. How many minutes today would you say you reached your best version of yourself? Well, I think the best version is, is both ends. I thought we were our best version more defensively. I think offensively, um, there was a stretch in the first half. I know going into the under four media, we had taken 22 shots and 21 of them we had uh, qualified as uncontested. That's pretty good. Like that's a good version. Now I would tell you turn the ball over. You know that's you know so so being careful there. But I'd say I'd say today was probably you know 30 minutes or so. You know 30 minutes of, of our best version. We obviously last four or five minutes. You know we had the, the guys in there, and I don't know if you want to. You know I don't I don't necessarily. They weren't bad. We just didn't get anywhere. I don't think we scored. I think it was just 67 40 when they came in and finished 67 43. But. Um, out of that previous, you know, 30, 36 minutes, I'd say somewhere around 30 minutes was, was the best version of us. And, and again, best version of us is, you know, offensively, um, if some of those shots go in, it's, it's, a, it's a way bigger margin. I'm not in the margins, but the offense looks much better if we're, you know, 10 for 25 from three, and now it's a 40 point game and everybody's going, oh man, you know, but, but we just, you know, but I'm, I'm more, I know there's, there's a, 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 a you know, a quantitative piece. I'm more qualitative in terms of, you know, what was the quality of shot we generated? What, what we always call good play percentage in every game. We chart good play percentage, and so for us, that's you know how many you know feet set generated. You know, we would generate a lot of paint attack. You know, threes. We generate layups, free throws. How do we do? You know, getting those plays, and how many times did we did we not do those things? And whether the ball goes in or not, you know, it can't. It can't. You know, but I thought I thought about 30 minutes would be. Uh, and that's good, you know. I mean, it's good. Like I said, Alabama and M was this a game I was worried about because I do know they're good, and, and we're coming off a, a stretch here. We, you know, had a tough loss on Monday, and, and uh, but I was I, and a long trip back. Um, you know, it was a full day of travel. So, uh, but our guys, I thought, I thought really responded well. Anything else for coach? Coach, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Josh. First in defense. Cam, I'll let you go first. Just tell me about just getting back on track after, uh, you know, kind of a tough loss on Monday. And, Back in the right direction. Uh, North Dakota State was a tough loss, but it's we kind of prepare the same after every game. So even if we would have won against North Dakota State, we're coming back trying to prepare well for Alabama and now. And we did we did a great job this week getting ready for them. They're a good team. They lost to three mid, mid three mid majors by like single digit points. I think Cincinnati like two. So we didn't come in here thinking it was a gimme. We knew we were gonna have to prepare well over the week to come in and play our best game. The paint touches were big against their zone. Um, you know, just you guys scored 44 points in the paint. Uh, you know, just tell me about how you guys embraced the importance of that and executed it. Uh, we knew they were going to come in and run a 2 3. So we have uh, Xavier, he's really good at running the middle and finding cutters and finding shooting or even finding himself. But uh, Schultz just preached about getting the ball in the paint and collapsing the zone and kickouts. And I know we weren't shooting, we didn't have a great shooting night, but. Probably like 21 out of 25 shots or threes that we took were wide open threes. And like Shirt says, he knows people aren't missing on purpose. So if they're wide open shots, we just got to keep taking them. Zach, you did hit some of those wide open shots. Uh, just tell me about getting the opportunity to take, you know, taking advantage of the playing time that you got today. Um, you know, to get more playing time. That's kind of the, you know, the way it goes for all players. But uh, tell me about how you took that to work today. Uh, I mean, I've, this whole year I've just been focused on getting better, you know, every day. 
And so uh, I've been putting in the work and, and it just happened to be a, a good night for me. That's all it was. And, and you know, it's not going to change today or tomorrow. You know, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and uh, hopefully it just keeps bringing positive outcomes. Coach Schertz talks to me uh, a lot about you guys, the, the team getting to the best version of yourselves. What do you guys think that is? Uh, what do you think you guys, what is the best version of what you guys are, do you feel like? How do you kind of take that to heart as a player? Uh, I would say just just a, just a relationship that you guys have on the court. Um, honestly, we had a great defensive night, and I think we're going in the right direction in the defensive side on the court. But um, if I would say to play our best basketball, I'd say get the ball hopping and finishing plays and just talking more on defense and doing the little things that great teams do. I mean, I, I think it's, uh, you know, we're starting to really buy in on the defensive end, and I think that's where it starts, you know. We're one of the top transition teams in the country, but we can't get out in transition unless we play defense. So, you know, really buying in on that end, and, and as soon as you buy in on defense, you know, it, it, it just brings the team together because it's a really hard thing to do. So, and Coach Schertz always talks about that. Uh, our biggest team builder is going to be defending. So, you know, just really buying into that. I think that will really uh, you know, start to take off. For, for both you guys, uh, two games in three days. Actually, it's three games in five days. If you count the way. But you guys have done this several times already this season. Anything that you draw back on from some of the short turnarounds you've already had to, to this one? Uh, tomorrow's going to be a neck up day, what we call them mental days. And we're going to have to come in, and I know it's going to be hard for a lot of people, but uh, we're just going to have to come in and really focus on the mental part of the game and what we need to focus on, what the other team does good, what we can do to stop what they do good, and just just walk through the plays, go over the film of this game. So tomorrow's going to be a good good preparation day, but just neck up, and the day after that, it's going to be the same thing after that game. So if we come in and prepare well, I think it doesn't matter how many days you got in between games. If you prepare well for those days, you'll come out and execute well. It doesn't mean you'll play well, but you'll execute well. And I think I think it's credit to how we practice. I mean, we practice really hard, and we put a, a lot of miles on our bodies and practice for you know these spurts in the season where you got to do three games in five days. So I think we're conditioned to do it, and, and we're used to it. So. Anything else? Gentlemen, thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.